Hi everybody. Uh, we're going to be looking at the path of change. This is Waldorf. This is Statler. And the path of change is open to the demon armies and the chaos warriors, right. correct? Ch -ch change. Path yes. of change. It's the Obama path. Um, the lore <laughs> attribute here is the winds of change. Um, it's a universal. Uh, duration is permanent. The army gets a Wind of Change counter. When casting non-bound spells from the Path of Chain, Change, any power dice that result in a natural one may be re-rolled at the expense of a counter. Remove a counter and re-roll the die. Oh, hey, I like this a lot. This is really good. Big fan of this. I like it. And I like how it's not for bound, so... You, you can't yeah. use it on bound spells. Right. Right. So... So it's only helping the spells you cast. It's, it's only it's only helping casters. Casters, correct. right? No, oh, that's a good lore attribute. It is uh, to help help boost your magic ability. Correct. Now, of course, you don't roll any ones, and it's never going to help you. But correct. It's still there. It's a nice. But if you're not rolling any ones, you're doing well anyway. Correct. <laughs> yeah. You're not that worried about it unless mm -hmm. you're rolling all twos. Anyway, um, anyway, my opinion, good good attribute. It's a good attribute uh, for for a magic based. Uh, if you if you if you want your magic to be doing something, I should say if you're relying on your magic, if to, you're relying uh, to on do your magic, things. yes, because uh, a lot of other attributes are helping you fight or they're helping you uh, protect yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in in almost all other lores, this one's really about is helping you get things off. Yeah, boosting your later. Right, and this lets you throw a couple little useless things early and build up the couple counters. Correct. For later use, and as we'll see shortly, you know, we have a couple of a decent number of spells that are relatively low casting values. Mm -hmm. The um, okay, the, of which is the base spell, blue fire, far, far. Uh, basic casting value of five, boosted of eight, ubu boosted <laughs> of eleven, uh, range is twenty four, uh, boosted version is forty eight, the uh, uba uh, boosted version is forty eight. Also, it's a hex, it's a missile, it's damage, and it's instant. Target suffers D6. Um, oh, wow. D6, D6. Read this correctly. Suffers. Or the Uber boost is D6 plus one. Yes. So, so target suffers D6 strength, D6 hits with Hellfire for the regular one. The boosted version is D6. Same thing. D6 hits with. The only thing you're getting the four, 24 extra inch of range is you're getting from the boosted. Right, uh, and then the Uba uh, boosted version is D6 plus 1, uh, strength D6 plus right. 1, it's with Hellfire. So it's adding, guaranteeing adding 1 to strength and adding 1 to... Yeah, it's adding 1 to strength and it's adding 1 to the uh, number of hits, right? Correct, or well, potentially, <laughs> depending on how you roll with these D6s. Well, guarantee on the... Right. On the... Um, uber one yes right yes it's got a decent range and uh yeah it's a missile yeah and the hellfire thing if you if you suffered one or more unsaved wounds you take an additional d6 d3 strength three right you're not not big but it's no, something it's, else it's just something also on top of it and this is a this is one of these magic missiles that um can be really good or or not do much much at all. I've always liked the spell a lot. Now, at a five? At a five, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Yeah, because, you know, you might get one strength one Especially out of it. if you uh, squeeze a few of these in your arm, you yeah. may get a strength one hit. You get one strength one, and the guy's going to laugh at you. Yeah, you, get you might six get six strength, strength six, six, and he's not going to be happy that you cast him a so five. Um, I don't, I got to be honest, I don't see uh, using the boosted versions of this just because of the high variability. Well, I see the eight one a little bit simply Maybe. because for the range early in the game or yeah. if something if, sneaking if you're not out close there. Enough, you may do if you've got nothing better to do. I don't really see the eleven. I can't ones. imagine the 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 Uber version. Correct. The, it's just too much, too many dice for something that may cause, you know, two strength, uh, one strength, one hit or whatever. Correct. Yeah, I agree. That's Fr blue. frankly for for this casting value, you, you know, you you need to get at least five strength five hits <laughs> when you get up to you know uh, oh if you're casting on the 11 yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i agree um because four strength four eight is not cutting it no, for 11 not at all 
Right. I'm not, not sure it's cutting in an eight either, but. <laughs> the, well, the thing about the eight is the range. Correct. If you're shooting something out to 48, it's okay. Well, once again, yeah, the number of dice you have to put behind it to Correct. give you a good chance to get it off for something that may not do much. Yeah. All right. Um, number one spell is Pink Fire. Far. Cast on a six, boost to 11. If you cast it on a six, it's a caster only. If you do it on 11, it's a 24 inch ranged focused augment. Last one turn. Uh, target gains a breath weapon, strength D3 plus two with Hellfire attacks. And again, that's the D3 strength three added yes. one. Um, again, we've seen, we've seen this spell before. I love this spell. I think it's good. Well, this one's, um, uh... Yeah, I think this one's better. Always toxic attacks. This is ah, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, this is this is between three and between strength three and strength five, Ugh. but it doesn't have the armor piercing and two d six of those hits. Mm -hmm. Correct. I like this a lot. I think so, it's a good spell. So it's better against tougher, less armored opponents. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I think it's solid. Once again, this is an army. You tend to have your uh, uh, mages close to the actions, um, so it's not bad. The boosted version, uh, not a. You have to think about that one, but it's a decent spell. Um, next one, number two, is the Wave of Transformation. Seven up to cast. Um, I feel transformed. <laughs> uh, range is 24, hex missile damage, instant. Target suffers one strength, D6 plus four hit with multiple wounds, D3, and Hellfire. Uh, that's a lot of words. Which penetrates rank as a bolt thrower, artillery weapon, with armor piercing six. Ooh. So... Wait a minute, this is on a 7? On a 7. So it's D6 plus 4, so between 5 and 10. Oh, And it's really? multiple wounds plus 3, then you follow up with the Hellfire attacks. Multiple wounds, D3, penetrate rank. This is actually a really good... This is fantastic. For casting of a 7? Yes, when you think of the spear from yeah. Wilderness comparison, yes. No, this is really nice. Yeah. I said, especially for armies... This is helpful for armies because they don't tend to have a lot of shooting. Correct. So, you know, help it, the, these, these missiles help, you know, yeah. overcome some of that. Um, I'm a, I like this spell. No, it's very nice. Then again, I'm not sure this army has a lot of problems dealing with tough things. Uh oh, but, uh, okay. Because you have your own big gribblies. That's true. <laughs> yeah. You got your own big nasty things yeah. running around. But, you know, if you can knock them down before they get to you, <laughs> Makes them so easier. much the better. And uh, especially some of the, uh, like the powered up uh, elven characters or, you know, or, right. or Bretonians that are by themselves because you may actually kill them so you don't have to worry about them. <laughs> and those may be the only things that can affect your big gribblies, you That's, know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number three spell is Secrets Stolen. Cast on a seven. It's got a range of 18. It's hex. I've got them in my pocket. Direct damage. <laughs> okay. Focused. Uh, instant. Target and caster both roll a d6 and add their wizard levels. If the target gets a higher total, nothing happens. Otherwise, the target suffers one strength three hit with armor piercing six and loses one wizard level. If it has any. Fantastic. If you're going to take a lord level wizard, even if you're going to take a low level wizard, this is good. But if you're going to take a high level wizard, with the certainly with the number of armies I'm seeing without a high level wizard these days, yes. this is a really the only thing limiting this at all is that 18 inch range. Well, even if you're and your a, army's not worried about getting within 18, it doesn't hurt you if you fail. So even if you're taking a you know level a two, two guy, on a two or whatever, and but, he's got a three, well, why not? Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying. I mean, if if you've or got seven. the if you've got the oh, plus the, up on him, oh if you have the advantage, then yeah. You're going to be hurting them. The key thing here is that it's the it's the wizard's levels. It doesn't Correct. include other boosts. That not that there's many in the game, but uh, any other boosts. Yes, yeah, strictly yeah. his level. No, this is good. No, anything that can. Uh, like I said, the only thing that take, I... you're basically taking spells away. Yeah, is, is really nice. Yeah, the only limiting factor at all in this I see is the 18 inch range. Right. Which is not that big of a problem. You tend to be in people's grills once again. So correct. Yeah, nice spell. Pretty quickly, if you can be. <laughs> okay, it brings us to the Reign of Confusion. 
which should be the name of our channel. <laughs> you know, yes. We did. You know what? We, we named it wrong. We named we? it wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid the Ninth Age folks may have sued us for IP infringement. Yes. <laughs> if we use this name, we, we should have published earlier. <laughs> the, the reign of confusion. Reign of confusion. <laughs> the uh, casting value is nine plus. Range is twenty four. It's a hex. Lasts uh, one turn. Target cannot benefit from night from. Target cannot benefit from neither inspiring presence yeah, nor it? hold your ground. All right, it's the neither nor yes. thing again. Okay. Yes, uh, that's technically correct, but uh, um, yeah, but <laughs> either or also works, right? Um, no, not really. <laughs> the, okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. Because then that's this is means it's, it's both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good point. <laughs> so I don't know. Just don't like the way it sounds. Yeah. Who wrote this language, anyway? Some English person. Oh, yeah, well, they're wrong. You think just because they created a language, that they think they know what they're doing. Well, the, <laughs> the, the English language? Exactly. Anyway. <laughs> the, All right. Um, yeah, good. The, uh, we've seen this spell before. It's a nice spell. Really good spell. Yep. Anytime that you can uh, limit the ability of this person to pass a leadership test, yep. in, particularly in a combat scenario, it's a, it's a big deal. And if I'm not mistaken, they have access to a couple fear causers they in this army? just a trifle bit of fear. <laughs> I think they may even have a terror or two. So I think <laughs> that's going to uh, come in handy. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, good spell. And nine, it's a three-dicer. It's definitely worth it. Yes. Um, that brings us to the inevitable betrayal. It's inevitable. What are you trying to say? <laughs> not trusting you anymore. Uh, this guy's on a nine. It's got a range of 24. It's a hex. And it lasts one turn. Uh, when the target makes a shooting or close combat attacks, any of it to hit rolls of one are discarded. Oh. After, After rerolls. rolls. For each hit that is discarded in this way, the target immediately suffers one hit with the same strength and rules as the discarded hit. A discarded shooting attack counts as a shooting attack, and a discarded close combat counts as close combat attacks, and will therefore add to the target's opponent's, target opponent's combat score. Units consisting of a single model cannot be affected by this spell. So, for every one you roll to hit, it counts as a hit against your own unit. Right, at your own strength. At your own strength. Um... This could be really good. Could be. Um, it's, it's all on what they roll. Oh, it's all what they roll. I mean, if they have a, a lot of attacks, yeah, they're going to roll a decent number of ones. If they have a handful of attacks, yeah, you know, also depends on how how strong they are, of course. <laughs> the and if they have re rolls, right? If they have re rolls, you know, then those ones are going to you know be mm -hmm. shortened by quite a bit. So. Um, there's, okay. a lot, there's a lot of, as with most of the change stuff, there's yeah, a lot there's of variability. A lot of, conditions and variability, a lot of variability in, in this this one. Yeah, the more I look at that, I'm not that crazy about this one at all. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, I mean, because even if a unit, even if a unit is in horde or whatever and has thirty attacks, you're talking about five on average, five. Correct, and that's if you're that many. bouncing. Yeah. And then they cause hits. They then they still have to wound. Correct. And he still has saves versus right. those. On a nine, yeah. Yeah, and twenty attacks, twenty-one attacks is probably a better number for a lot of things. Yeah, I'm not much buying. Anyway, I'm not a big fan of that spell. So. But that's the inevitable betrayal. Yes. I do like the name. <laughs> it should be better for that name. <laughs> I would. I would agree. All right. What and else? rolling for a nine is. Um, yeah. If the rerolls didn't count, and it was, if it was. Uh, I mean, it is. It is the automatic hit, so. Yeah, but they still got a wound, right? Yeah, you still have to wound. Well, yeah, you just don't know what the, what the strength is. That's the variable part. If you're getting charged by a whole bunch of knights, then, right. yeah, that's that's pretty good. You know, if you're getting charged by you know, a swarm. Yeah, but a whole bunch <laughs> of knights, so well, they're going to have 12 attacks. Yeah. That means you're going to bounce two. Sure, but I mean, they're strong enough that they're going to actually hurt something. Maybe. It does count towards your combat res. It does. So, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm just. No. Anyway, it doesn't impress me. I'm not a big fan of this one. Yeah, I think I think it's okay. Not good, but okay. okay. <laughs> Brings us to the Eternal Gateway. Eternal Gateway. Okay. With you? 
That's what they should have renamed the forums on the uh, Ninth Age, the Eternal Gateway. No, they should have renamed the uh, quick ans- short questions, quick answers. Ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Should have named that to the Eternal Gateway. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> that post is going on forever. Yes, but at least I got a fact now. They do. Which we've done a review on for we those have. of you that are interested. We've posted exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> the... If you want to be more confused than ever, then listen to that. <laughs> the... All right. Is, that, term... is this confusing or we're, we're confused? I think we confuse the matter on a lot of issues. That's that's the plan. It is. It worked <laughs> the... out perfect for yes. us. I don't know why people listen to this mess anyway. All right. <laughs> hey. Get back to the Eternal Gateway. Before, okay, Eternal before Gateway. Before we turn everybody off on this. F- 15 plus. Oof. That's a big casting value. So this is casting. their uber spell. Range is 24. It's a hex. It's a missile. It's damage. It's instant. Suffers. Yeah. Target suffers 2d6. 2d6 hits with Hellfire. Hellfire. Kind of like a little extra. extra yeah, even more die rolling. D3 strength 3. <laughs> yes, yay. Yeah. So if 11 or 12 is rolled for strength, treat it as strength 10. Okay. So it caps its strength 10. Yes. So, so average, you're talking about seven strength seven. Yes, and you've got a what? Um, the fifteen to 10, cast that. 10, 10, 10, 4, 5, 6, 6, about an eighteen percent, about twenty percent chance to get a strength ten. <laughs> the, so, and then. Uh, yeah, but you also have this chance at strength two. Yes. Right. Well, I'm saying eighteen because it's, it's three combinations of dice to get strength Correct. ten since Correct. I'll go to third. So yeah, which is which is maximum. So there's a higher. And, and much strength, higher chance of getting the 10. Yeah, than strength the two. 8 or above is pretty. Uh, Even strength 7 is pretty potent. You know, there's most, there's very, very few things that are greater than toughness 6 in the game. Correct. <laughs> so. But know, the thing that. Strength 8 at 42% of the time is is nice. Yes. Yeah. Of course, you yeah. may only get two. Uh, you may only get two, two of those, hits. but yeah. You know, this is the variability on this. It's huge. Is huge, and it makes it sketchy to me. I think the, the variability being so so big makes I like the spell for what it is. I, the but casting value seems to be a bit much for such right. a high variability. Correct. Now I mean casting you, you roll really well, you'll kill anything. Correct. <laughs> so But you cast on a fifteen, you blow up your mage and you get two strength, two hits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's gonna make that's gonna make you happy. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah. Anyway. Um, all right, so I'm not crazy about five. I'm not crazy about six. I do really like four. Um, three was useful. Um, da, da, da. So, yeah, it's only the five and six I really don't like in this one. Yeah, I think this is a, a, a useful lore. Um, I don't know if I'd want to give it to a mage in the army, though. Um, the... Uh... Just because there's so much variability, right? I mean, magic is already variable. You don't know if you're going to get it off or not, and then followed up by, you don't know what it's going to do. Correct. Um, and you can take uh, the uh, conclave unit, the right, and that gives you the, the horrors. That gives you the fixed spells, right? Right. It gives you pink fire and it's it pink and blue. It pink and blue, I think. I believe I don't remember, but right. um, which are you know some of the nicer ones to have, I Correct. think. So yeah, um, I agree with that. I think that. Uh, if you're if you're interested in this lore, you you take that unit and then uh, you probably do something a little different, unless you just, you want to do it for flavor. Yeah, good thing this uh, lore attribute path attribute can't be used to reroll the ones on the the dice rolled for number and strength. Yes, yes. <laughs> then it would be really awesome. Well, that'd be different. Yeah, that would that would that would boost a, this path a ton. A, a whole bunch. I think it would probably break this path, but could be. I don't know if it'd break it, but uh, it would. It would definitely improve it a whole lot. As it is, it, it, it actually I still, probably makes some of these spells at the bottom, you know, you know, worth their the casting values. Yeah, it would make that one that fifteen casting yeah. worth the fifteen. Because now you know you're not going to be stuck rolling a two. Correct. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe you can re-roll and get a three. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, but uh, so overall, what do you think? I'm going to give this a uh, Waldorf is going to give this a thumbs up, despite the five and six spell. Um, as a path for a mage, I think I'd give it a thumbs down. Really? Yeah, I, I just don't see me me taking this as a as a path for a conclave. I I, I give it a, a thumbs up because I like those those spells. Yeah. I just really like the cheap five and six here, and they're both good spells. That, that's that's what I like. Now, having said that, if I'm just looking for a, 
if I'm just looking for a low level guy to do magic low missiles, low level magic some, missiles, some, some level way. level one guy or or something like that, I, I it, yeah. it might be okay. And this focus beans, you can cast this on a single guy in a unit. Right. Doesn't have to be on a character or anything, so any unit can be targeted. Yeah. Anyway, um, thumbs up for me and thumbs down from Stadler, huh? Yes. All right. Well, there you have it. You know, we do the disagree on things. The path of ch -ch -ch change. The path of change changed us. Yes. All right, we're done. Um, thank you for listening, as always, and uh, over and out. Over and out.